I no, know he can't be it. promiscuous though. If he wants a woman who's not promiscuous, he cannot be promiscuous himself. A lot of women have a list of requirements for the kind of man that they want. Mm. Most of those standards, she doesn't fulfill herself. They're double standards and men accept it. This is the one yeah, double this standard is why, men ask This for. is why whatever I want in the man, I know that I can. They're just lustful. Like, yeah, they are is, so, it, men are yeah. so easy. They are very, very easy men. If they're so like, easy, they're why do women easy. struggle with them? <laughs> No, what but I feel like, as you said, right, with the percentage percentage of cheating, I feel like men and women now want the same thing, which is just to sleep around. Unfortunately, that's how it is. Like, yeah. men are as easy as women nowadays. And if anything, women... Do you mean the other way around? Women are as easy as men? Because I don't think women yes, were women, as easy Yes, women before. are as easy as men now. So sure. they're both just playing each other, you know? Yeah, I mean, this... this it is shocking, culture. though. Like, the amount of stories I hear of the way women sleep around. Like normally I feel like, okay, it is sexist to say it's Girlfriend. expected from men. Mm. Cause we've, it's, I feel like your brain is always wired to think men can sleep around and women can't, but it's really shocking to see how much both genders are doing it now. Like, yeah, that's why I don't try to say that like when a man says, oh, a woman's body count, this is that. What is your body count? As a man, what is your body count? If your body count isn't, if you're not a reserved man and you don't lust over any woman that's walking past, Mm. then you've got no right to talk about another woman's body count or to say she's promiscuous or to say she's that. Like, this is why I feel like I can have such a vocal opinion on it because I know I do respect myself as a woman. Mm. So I can slander a man and say, well, you're lost in over women. Mm. Get the fuck away from me. Do you get it? What do you, what do you, um... you can't be a hypocrite. You can't be a very promiscuous person and then say, but everyone else has to be reserved. If you're reserved, then you can have an input on reserved people. You so get it. I do get that. But there, men and women look for different things. And there are some things that women look for in a man mm. that she does not provide herself. So Which for is a, wrong. Then she can't ask for those things. But you, you do all the, you literally just said, you like, you want a guy who's going to provide and protect for you. You're not going to provide and protect him, are you? Okay. But that's so you different. Want a, you want a guy who's six foot. Do you not? No. I mean, that's what I mean. I would, you prefer, I would prefer a guy who's six foot, but okay. if a man, if I meet a man who's five foot nine, five foot 10, and he respects me, I am picking that man over a six foot player. You want for a guy example. who's taller than you. You don't want a guy the same height. Yes. But if he's the same height as me and he genuinely respects me more than any tall guy I've ever known, I swear to you, I'm picking that man because I'm, love I'm and respect is priceless. I'm not, say, I'm not saying you wouldn't pick him, but what you want is a standard. What you want in a man is mm. a standard that you okay, do not but, fulfill okay, yourself. You know when I say protect and provide, um, that's what a man should do for a woman. Yeah, she should when be lounging I say that, at I'm home talking chilling. Things that's like, what you say. Huh? <laughs> and she should be lounging at home chilling. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. <laughs> when I say protect and provide, I'm saying things like a woman's not going to get a screwdriver and fix a drain or whatever. Why not? A, a man has his manly jobs and a woman's got her feminine jobs. That's how I see it because that's how it used to be back in the day. So when I say provide and protect, that's what I'm talking about. I feel like- He has a larger okay, responsibility. So men and women have different roles in that aspect. Sure. But me wanting a man who respects himself because I respect myself, that's standard. That's not the same as me wanting a man to provide for me and- take care of me and love me. They're two different concepts. They're not like going into the same convo. Do you get it? I understand what you're saying, but a man being promiscuous is different than a woman being promiscuous. But a man being promiscuous is different. And that's something way more different than a man pr protecting and providing for his woman. I know, but what I'm trying to say is that, look, you're allowed to have your preference. I'm not I saying you like can't. A I'm man not saying can you can't respect himself and I can respect myself, but he should still be able to take care of me and make me feel safe in my home. I, I don't like disagree that. with you. You're allowed to have a preference being like, I don't want a guy who's promiscuous, right? Yeah. Has a high body count, 100%, mm. right? But you're like saying, well, because I'm like that, I expect the same of you. Right? Yeah, and you're saying to guys, you're like, guys, you can't have a double standard with this. Yeah, the argument would be there are so many things that a woman that you even express that you look for in a man that you don't fulfill yourself, and that's a okay, double like standard. What, though? You literally said height. You literally said money. You literally said protection. No, like, but do you know why I say money? Because no, that's a, uh, that's no, no, a big no. one. Okay, let me tell you. This is what I said before. I come from a if family. He, for you, he should be able to be promiscuous. No, no, I come from a family <laughs> where. I'm financially stable. Luckily enough, I've had parents that have worked very, very hard. Yeah. Yep. And they give me everything. So even if I don't have anything, I come from a family that does. Why can't you do it for yourself? 
Well, I can. That's what I'm doing. Every, like, anytime I get paid, 80% of my money goes in my savings. That's great. Wherever I've got my family and my family's money, I try to keep to my independence because I don't even know, you know, all of my education is I didn't have to work, which I'm grateful for. A lot of people had to work and pay bills. I didn't need to do that. So although I've always been looked after in my life, at the age I'm at and as I'm growing up, I need to find my own independence. But still, even in that aspect, I feel like a man should do for me what my family has done. And if not more, do you get it? Because why should I come from a family where I've been stable and I've been lucky, lucky enough to have everything I want to then bring that standard down? My standards are already here and they should only be up from there. Do you I get don't, it? I'm not contesting that. What I'm saying is that so what's you, your opinion on that? Do you think as a woman, like if she's financially stable from her family and her standards are here, she wants something above that. What do you think about a woman being so vocal about what she wants financially in a man? What's your opinion on that? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So, so long as she doesn't complain about being what the man wants. So for example, if you say, I want a guy who's going to come in and elevate my lifestyle and pay for me. Cool. But if he says that you're going to be home when I say, you're going to stay as good looking That's as fine. staying attractive, then don't that, complain. No, 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 no. He can't look. Money if he's like, babe, you're putting on weight, you better get to the gym. Otherwise this is over. Don't then complain. Then I will. Yeah, because Ooh, if, we're in a, if we're in a relationship, that's another thing. Always look after yourself. Do not lose yourself in a relationship. I also, he to... might say like, I want sex when I want it. Yeah, yeah your duty is no, to No, but that's that. different. See, money doesn't mean you lose <laughs> oh, respect. Here we go. <laughs> money doesn't mean you lose respect. I don't bro. agree with that, but I'm just saying that could be a condition for But someone. that's why money doesn't mean you, lo you lose respect. You need to find the middle thing where you're both financially stable and you both respect each other, which in this day and age, a lot of women say, oh, if he's got money, he's going to cheat on you. Forget it. There's that side to it. So it's very like, so, like coming back, so here's coming back to the promiscuous thing. I know you're saying it's a double standard. You don't like it, but here's the argument a lot of men make. Go on. There tends to be a list that okay. women have for men. Right? Like, like okay. I want him to breathe this height, this intelligent, this well, As in the woman this, has this list for a man. Yeah. For the okay. kind of man that she wants, she has a stand, like a list of the standards yeah. she wants. Right. Mm -hmm. Fine. Most of those standards, she doesn't even fulfill herself. And guys accept, hold on, and guys accept that, okay. right? They go, okay, cool. The list that men have for women is not long. Yeah, I know. It is literally respect me, be someone that I'm attracted to, and don't be promiscuous. That's it. That's, yeah. Right? That mm. is it. Now you're saying, now he's saying like, that's the list I have. I don't care if I'm promiscuous or not. That's my standard. I no, know you can't coming, be look. promiscuous though. If he wants a woman who's not promiscuous, he cannot be promiscuous himself. Then that's okay. a hip. Then you're saying you just said women are hypocrites because they want this, this, no, that. No, they I don't didn't, provide I didn't, it. I didn't, hold on, I didn't say women are hypocrites. I said a lot of the standards that, that women have, they don't have for they themselves. They don't fulfill themselves, and men accept that. Okay, but then and this is a stand. This is the only standard that men have a double standard with women that they want women to accept and men accept a lot. So when you're sitting here saying that I don't want to accept that standard, men are like, well, fuck you, you know because what? I, I like, accept yeah, all of this. I feel like the biggest thing that men are hypocrites about is you can't be promiscuous, but I can. I think that's the biggest one with men because they always, you see it all the time. They always say, I want a woman who's reserved, but then they'll look at a woman who's half naked. But we look at, Do you get it? Which I, I, I mean, I, I get so that, wrong. but men, men and women look for different things. You know this. You even, yeah, said, but this you is even what, said it yourself. You said men and women aren't equal. Aren't equal. Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't, oh, I don't know. The like, thing is, I, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with having that standard. Right? No, but, but I get I your think, point. It's very contradictory. Like, I think the reason for you, it's a preference. Yeah. Right. But I don't think that is a, the truth is if you're in today's world. Yeah. To have a man who is attractive, successful, capable, intelligent. Then and what you're do like, you bring? Is that what you mean? Like, what does a woman bring? No, it's not about what does she bring. All I'm saying is that a lot of women have a list of requirements for the kind of man that they want. Mm. Most of those standards, she doesn't fulfill herself. They're double standards and men accept it. This is the one yeah, double standard why, men ask for. This is why whatever I want in the man, I know that I can give him what he wants. Now, all right, cool. I might not have my own money to that extent. He might have more money than me. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to looking after myself, not being promiscuous, not speaking to the opposite sex, respecting myself, because you represent each other. I agree. Now, all of these things I know I can provide. So 
men and women are not equal. But if I'm okay, being promiscuous, I feel like both shouldn't be promiscuous. That's like I don't disagree. No with arguments. That. I don't disagree with me. You. Like for example, a lot of women are very friendly, friendly with men, even in a <laughs> relationship. Like they can just like you know with the whole cheating thing. Like a lot of women can be quite friendly with men, whereas I with feel guys like guys who are in relationships. No, like if let's say if a woman's in a relationship, she can move a bit loose sometimes or oh, she acts too friendly or she laughs too much or whatever it is. She can act a bit thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like I know that in a relationship, my partner's my priority. I represent him and he represents me. Yep. I come with respect because even without him, I have respect for myself. That's yes. why I have this standard of what I want in a man. Like with the respect thing, I respect myself. So he needs to respect himself and me. Are so you, I feel like the standards I have, like, all right, I would prefer a guy who's six foot. Yeah, I would. I'll be so honest. Yeah, I would. Be real. But be real. It's if all right. my man isn't six foot, it's not the end of the world. If he can love and respect me, then that's fine. So I do have standards, but women also compromise. For the man they love, they will compromise. For the man they see is genuine and respectful, she will compromise. And if she doesn't, then she's a low quality woman because she's only after one thing, which is materialistic and his looks or whatever. I hear you. What is a high quality woman to you? Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.